Yo, what's happening, folks? It's your boy, Sports PSP, in the building. Hope everyone's enjoying a fantastic Monday. Breaking news, NFL news. I'm reading an article here from ESPN. The Philadelphia Eagles and quarterback Jalen Hurts have reached an agreement on a five-year, $255 million extension, including $179.3 million guaranteed, a source told ESPN's Adam Schefter on Monday. Hertz deal is the biggest contract in terms of average annual value, value in NFL history. Deshaun Watson's $230 million contract signed last year with the Cleveland Browns, which is fully guaranteed, still is biggest in terms of guaranteed money. Hertz extension includes a no-trade clause of first in Eagles history, a source told Schefter. The Eagles announced Monday they signed Hertz to a five-year extension, but did not disclose financial terms. Hertz who's 24 years old, was an MVP candidate last season, throwing for 3,701 yards with 22 touchdowns to six interceptions while rushing for 760 yards and 13 touchdowns. He showed tremendous growth as a passer in his second season as the full-time starter, jumping from 19th, 54.6, to 4th, 66.4 in QBR and in completion percentage. He was 26 in 2021 with 61.3 to 11th in 66.5, while dropping his average time before throw from 3.12 seconds, which was la uh, which was 31st in the NFL in 2021, to 2.76, which is 16th on average uh, last year. One of his best performances came in the Super Bowl, where he racked up 374 total yards and four touchdowns with one costly turnover in a 38-35 loss to Patrick Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs. So what are my thoughts about Jalen Hurts? First and foremost, I'm happy for him. Even though people will be shocked because I am a Washington Commanders fan and, you know, the Eagles are in the NFC East. But just to give you all some context, Jalen Hurts played in Alabama and Jalen Hurts played in one of my favorite colleges, college football teams, which is Oklahoma. So anytime if you're from Oklahoma, I'm going to always give you love no matter what. And I'm happy for Jalen Hurts. He's worthy, He's worth every bit of that contract because of his play and what the Eagles believe he can do in the foreseeable future, which includes getting to Super Bowls, and hopefully winning Super Bowls. It's also great because you look at Jalen Hurts' character. He has gotten better and better. And just like Lamar Jackson coming out of college, the knock on Jalen Hurts was could he be able to throw the ball consistently in the NFL? He put in the time last year in the offseason in L.A. or Southern California with Tom House, the quarterback coach, and he got better. If you looked at what Jalen Hurts did last year on the field, it was great. Had it not been for injury, Jalen Hurts probably would have won the MVP because he was on pace to win the MVP, but then unfortunately he got hurt in the game against Chicago, and he was unfor and unfortunately he was able to sit in the Cowboys game and then in the Saints game. And he got them to the Super Bowl. And unfortunately, they did came up short against the Kansas City Chiefs. No shame losing to the Kansas City Chiefs when you're up against Patrick Mahomes and company. He did make one mistake. That was the fumble that led to a touchdown. But Jalen Hurts, what more could you ask? He has gotten better. You look at his time in Alabama coming up. I mean, the only concern when he was in college and coming out of college was his ability to throw the football. The national championship game against Georgia back in 2018, he got yanked in that game for Tua Tagovailoa. Tua Tagovailoa played well, well enough for Alabama to win. He threw the game-winning touchdown pass, I think, in overtime to Devontae Smith. After that season, Tua became the starter, day one starter. And Tua played well throughout the 2018-2019 season. He got hurt in the SEC championship game against the Georgia Bulldogs, Jalen Hurts, who was the backup at the time, came in and helped the Crimson Tide win the game. They scored 14 unanswered points to come back and win that game. 
Then after that season, Jalen Hurts gets transferred to Oklahoma because he knew he wasn't going to beat Tua for the job. He goes there with Lincoln Riley as his head coach. They had C.D. Lamb. They had some good pieces. Took them to the college football playoff game. Helped them win the Big 12 championship. You look at Jalen Hurts, man. You know, I, I, I just although he plays for the Eagles, I, I'm just happy for him. It's hard to root against him because not only he's a great football player, but more importantly, he's a great man. You, I mean, he puts in the time. He puts in the work. He has gotten better and better and better. He leads by example. And the Eagles back in 2020, they drafted Jalen Hurts in the second round. And I'm thinking to myself, why would they draft Jalen Hurts in the second round when they gave Carson Wentz that contract and Carson Wentz led the Eagles to the playoffs in 2019? They drafted Jalen Hurts because A, Carson Wentz had durability problems. And B, the Eagles probably had enough of Carson Wentz's attitude and personality. And they like Jalen Hurts because Jalen Hurts, unlike Carson Wentz, has those great leadership qualities or intangibles. And it resonated with the Eagles. I mean, you see it. The teammates, coaches, everybody around Jalen Hurts, they will tell you how great he is, not only as an athlete, as a football player, but as a man. And the city of brotherly love is very fortunate to have him as their ambassador. I also want to talk about not just it's great for Jalen Hurts, but also for women. Because Jalen Hurts is represented by Nicole Lynn, who is an excellent agent. I mean, if you look at it, in addition to Nicole Lynn, Jalen Hurts has four women that manage his life around football. Clutch sports groups, Chantel Romain and Shamika Simmons Winter are part of Hertz's media relations and client services management team. Romain has experience in communication strategies for the NBA, WNBA, NBA G League, and the NFL. I'm reading um, from an article from the New Pittsburgh uh, Courier uh, from Courier Newsroom. It, it, it goes to show you with women that if you it's like with black people particularly in the NFL as it pertains to coaches if you give women an opportunity watch what they watch what they can do and fortunately it's paid off Nicole Lynn is a damn good agent she's not only representing Jalen Hurts she's also representing uh Quentin Williams um, if you also look at Nicole Lynn, she's also the first African-American woman to represent an NFL draft pick in 2019 when she represented Quinn Williams. She's also the first African-American female agent to represent a quarterback in the Super Bowl, which is Jalen Hurts. She's also the president of football operations for Clutch Sports Group. And in 2021, she published her autobiography, quote, Agent You. And um, determine, and I'm just reading the rest here from the article from the New Pittsburgh Courier. Determined to represent Hertz in the NFL, Lynn reached out to him by sending a direct message on Instagram. She took a uh, she took a risk by hoping in his DMs. But the great thing about her doing that is that now more women and women of color might be empowered to take risks too. This is said by Megan R. Smith who is the founder and president of Brownstone PR. Whether that's in sports or another industry that is dominated by men, she said, I also think it gives women the confidence to say, let me step in the room and be my authentic self. Let me show up as myself, demand what I'm worth, and put the ball in the court. Whether they decide to say yes or no, I showed up. So this is huge. And also for uh, Simone Simmons Winter, she's also a senior publicist who specialized in FIBA and the NFL, and she was the New York Knicks public relations coordinator. 
And uh, Jenna Malferis handles client management and media relations alongside Simmons Winter and Rachel Everett, who owns Everett Sports Marketing, handles the NFL Stars Marketing. So it just tells you, folks, women. Women are capable of doing things if you give them an opportunity, just like with black people and minorities. If you give women an opportunity, watch what they can do. But um, I'm very happy for Jalen Hurts getting his bag, getting his money. I'm also happy for women because it also shows you that if you give women an opportunity, this is what they're capable of. And um, I love it. This is great news. It's also great news for the city of brotherly love. Those are my comments, folks. What do you think about the whole Jalen Hurts deal? And so much more. And what do you also make if you're the NFC East? Because the Dallas Cowboys, Washington Commanders, New York Giants, clearly Jalen Hurts is the best quarterback in that division. So how are the rest of the teams in the NFC East are going to have to deal with the Philadelphia Eagles and Jalen Hurts for the next five years? And much more. Side of that, it's your boy Sports PSP. Hope everyone's enjoying a fantastic day and God bless.